Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, please subscribe, hit notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Last week I showed you my top 5 most used bags of 2020. This week I'm going to talk about my top 5 least used bags of 2020. Some of my picks might surprise you. To be honest with you, some of them surprised me a lot. When I was looking for my bags preparing this video, I actually didn't realize that some of my bags weren't taken out at all through the entire 2020. And that's the shame because all of those bags, they are my favorite and I'm not planning to sell them anytime soon, but for one or another reason, I didn't use them as much as I planned or I wished. I'm going to rank all the bags from the most used between least used to the least used of the least used from the top to the bottom. And we're going to start with number five. And here, to be honest with you, I did surprise myself. And I'm talking here about one of my favorite brands and it's Bottega Veneta, the mini pouch. I purchased this bag around September time and I was planning to wear this bag a lot. I had so many outfits laid out for this specific bag. And because of this black color, such a, a beautiful shape, and it uh, has a adjustable and removable strap as well, I was like, oh my God, that mini bag is totally up my alley. And then when I was looking for my, for my bags at the end of 2020, I realized that I actually didn't use that as much. And I think the main reason here is mostly when I was planning my a bag wardrobe, my bag closet of autumn, winter 2021, for whatever reason, I decided that I didn't have enough black bags. I did have a couple at that point, but somehow I decided, no, I don't have enough and I'm going to buy more. Therefore, in my collection, around at the same time, two beautiful bags appeared, two of my favorite bags. It's a Prada re-edition 2005 in nylon and this little beauty. And because the re-edition in the black color as well, and because it's such an easy to use, carefree, grab and go bag, I tend to use that bag much, much more. And I realized that by using the Prada re-edition, I wasn't using this one at all. That's why I my plan for 2021 to use that one much more, just to get the full use out of it because I love it so much. I love the micro size. I love the beautiful buttercuff leather. I love the appearance, but here one more thing I actually was thinking. The only one thing I regret about this bag, if I was buying this bag today, I would probably buy that in intrachata leather. I love and enjoy my Interchato leather, the Interchato leather or Bottega Veneto so much that yes, if I was buying this bag right now, I would probably buy it in Interchato leather and a probably in the different color, not the black one. Maybe also in autumn, kind of like a rusty orangey or a beige or maybe pop of the color or the aubergine, or kind of like a milk chocolate color. There are so many different beautiful varieties, but not the black. However, I still love this bag and I, I promise, I promise to myself and I promise to you that I'm going to use that much, much more in this year. We are moving to number four between my list to use bags. And here we have a black bag as well. And I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't have a black bag, enough black bags. No, I didn't, no. Here we have my beautiful Mulberry Small Bayswater Satchel. And again here, one of the main reasons why I didn't use this bag as much as I actually wanted, it's my Prada re-edition. I'm, I'm in love with that bag. I'm absolutely in love. I'm crazy about that bag. And again, because it's so carefree and easy to go, just grab it and, and, and go. And I love to keep my mask in the little pouch there. Okay, now 
it's not time to talk about Prada re-edition again. I did mention that in my video of top five most used bags. And guess what place the Prada re-edition ended up? Easy to guess. However, let's go back to this beautiful Mulberry Small uh, base water satchel. So the first reason why I didn't use as much black color, Prada re-edition is alternative and I tend to use Prada re-edition much more. And the second reason that in year 2019, for example, that was my main bag to grab and go to theater. And I absolutely love this classic shape and a top handle and it has also removable adjustable strap. But I was usually used that as a top handle as it comes like that and I would keep my um, strap inside the bag. And because it has such a beautiful, the classic bag shape and look, I would usually take that when I was going to theater. And I would dress up with the heels and the skirts or the dresses and it's such a nice classic look. And now when we don't have this opportunity to go for any kind of entertainment, unfortunately, I don't use that bag as much. And it's for my usual outfits, which much more casual now, much sporty. Let's be honest, it's mostly a track suits now. Come on, when we are working from home. Unfortunately, this one, th this classic, beautiful classic bag doesn't go well as as I actually want it. And therefore, I didn't use that as much. Here we move to number three. And at the number three, we have this beautiful little cutie, absolutely teeny weeny belt bag from Barbary. Classic Barbary check pattern, the leather trimming, a little gold studs everywhere. It's just a, it's beauty, like a tiny little cutie. And I remember when I bought it, when I got it, it was my first bag from Barbary and I absolutely love it. It was so beautifully packed and it arrived so quickly. The whole package, the whole experience was beautiful. And I was planning so many outfits for this particular bag. It goes really well with a more casual outfits. It goes really well with the skirts as well and the trainers and the dresses. So I had so many styles I'm going to wear this bag with. However, I remembered I actually used that bag quite a few times through the summer when we were go going around Scotland and visiting our friends and I was wearing this bag and that's it. And if you ask me the reason why I didn't use that much, that probably would be that the bag comes with a quite a short strap. And I never managed to buy a longer belt to come with this bag. And the reason for that, because this bag is from the kids' collection. So for me, I can only wear this bag, but how it's meant to be, as a belt bag. So you can wear that crossbody with a longer strap or adjust it in such a way that it would be long enough to wear that cross chest kind of thing. And the reason for that, I'm more like a cross chest bum bag, belt bag girl rather than just a classic bell bag. I do appreciate the look, I love it, but it just happened that I didn't wear that as much as I actually wanted or planned again when I was buying this bag. I, I'm not planning to sell this bag. I absolutely love it and I want to keep that in my collection as like, you know, a little bit of Barbary thing in my collection. I don't have this many Barbary things in my collection. I absolutely appreciate this beautiful British brand. And yes, I need to use that more, especially in situation when it goes so well with the casual outfits. Now we're going to number two. So we're closer and closer to my list used bags. And here we have, a big boy and that's the Loewe woven basket bag. Wow, <laughs> what can I say? That's a great bag. Amazing quality. Leather is so durable, heavy and that probably one of the reasons why I didn't use that bag as much this year. It's pretty heavy. I don't remember exactly at the moment 
what weight is here but I made a review, the full review on this bag where I'm mentioning what weight for this bag but believe me just now it is heavy especially going from this teeny weeny thing to this massive 100% leather with all the leather leather um, belts and the straps and everything and yes it does have a removable strap however as I showed in my video the full review for this bag I don't wear that crossbody at all due to the weight of the bag and due to the way it's sitting when you're wearing it crossbody is it getting all squishy and adjustment shaped second reason is the size I do tend to use uh, micro bags now and you know me so well the, the smaller the better that actually my motto nowadays and I love my macro bags first of all because they're light they are very functional usually they are more practical they are lovely they are cute tiny things I still love Loewe woven basket bag it served me so well for so many years but here are three reasons why I didn't use this bag not at all I did I did use this bag barely but I did use this bag this year so three main reasons that's the size weight and inability to wear that crossbody and you know what I usually I've noticed that that I usually start wearing my bags those ones like the older ones from the older collections when I do the video on them I grab the bag from my closet I'm like ooh. It's a lovely bag especially when I'm talking about that I'm just reminiscing all this feelings that I have about this bag and I'm like yeah I need to use that more that's exact thing happened to Loewe woven ba basket bag I made the video on that I fell in love with this bag again and I'm like yeah okay I'm going to wear that and I did wear that for some time going for a grocery shopping and going for walks but then a new micro bag lightweight with a strap came in and unfortunately Loewe woven basket bag got back into the closet but it was lucky enough to see the sunshine rare occasion in Scotland because the next one our number one the least used bag between all least used bags of 2020 this bag didn't make it out at all it was taken out of the closet and it's a shame it was taken out of the closet only once just to make a video for my youtube channel and it just went back to the closet and i'm talking here about a beautiful mulberry base water bag the classic bag you know how much i love this bag and how many good things i was saying to you and telling you about this beautiful amazing classic bag in the teal color however there are some good reasons why i didn't use that bag as much in 2020 the first reason it's a um, weight of this bag it's not the lightweight it's much lighter than loewe woven basket bag much lighter However, it's still pretty heavy bag because it's all made leather and it's a really good um, quality of the leather, quite thick and it gives weight to the bag. The second reason is inability to wear this bag crossbody. It doesn't come unlike the small base water satchel which comes with a removable strap. This one doesn't come with a strap at all. It's an iconic classic version of the base water. And the third reason, and it's probably would be the main reason here, that it's a mainly an office bag or a travel bag. I usually use that as a travel bag uh, in the previous years. And we didn't have, as far as you know, yeah, we didn't have as many opportunities to travel in 2020. And therefore, I didn't use my main travel bag as much. That's, that's the shame, but however, as I said before, I'm not planning to sell neither this bag or any of other ones which made my list of list used bags of 2020. I still absolutely love them and I promise to use them more. I'm making this promise to myself because I don't want, I want the bags to be out there and just enjoy, enjoy my bags, enjoy my collection. My collection is not 
for sitting there in the closet and therefore I'm making the promise to myself to use all my little beauties which I love so much more in year 2021. We will see in one year time when I'm going to do a list of my list used most used bags of year 2021 we're going to see if I kept up to my promise or I failed. Let's check that. And that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please hit thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye!